Podtacular Ship Show for Headlong for the week of November 14th, 2005. All right, gentlemen, let's get freaky! Well, hey guys, welcome back. Podtacular, the unofficial Halo 2 podcast. I'm Fumo Jive. I'm spelled Chick. I'm JVB. Woo! And we are here at Podtacular Studios, sort of, to kind of. <laughs> bring you guys the Podtacular Tips show this week, where we talk about uh, all kinds of tips, tricks, uh, strategies, tactics to help you level up and stay there in and strategy tips. or in Halo 2. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet action. <laughs> we got lots of... Yes. <laughs> sweet action, right? Uh, <laughs> we got lots of general tips today for you guys, as well as the map of the week with uh, Headlong, where we cover all kinds of different uh, strategies for whether it be uh, a Slayer game or some kind of objective-based game with a big team or the new 6-on-6, six six maybe. So talking about different ways to get into the base, all kinds of different stuff there. So let's get started. Sweet! I'm already excited! Yay! Me too. <laughs> oh boy. Mr. Mr. Hell on Wheels wrote us an email or something. Mr. Hell on Wheels contacted us. And you know what he told us? You know, he told, you know, you know, you know what he told us? No, what he told us. He said, he said, this is what he said, this is what he says to us. Is, <laughs> he said, and hey, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, take away. He said, if you don't feel like take, he, this is what he said oh to us, gosh, okay, guys. Come on. He said, if you don't feel like taking the banshee, shoot the cockpit with a plasma pistol. District, no more banshee, guys. Okay. <laughs> said shoot the cockpit with a plasma pistol. Discharge. No more banshee. Yeah, that's so there you go. That's there, you, there you go. Emphasis added by spell check. And Brian Brian Smoothie says, noob tip, plasma grenade plus enemy's face equals good. Wow. Fantastic tip from Brain Smoothie. <laughs> Why don't you do the next one too? Because that was pretty sparse. <laughs> that was pretty much the shortest tip ever. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. All right. Yankee Hotel says, if you have the sniper and find a group of three or more guys on the opposing team in a group, don't kill them all. While getting a triple kill is cool, you can rack up more kills by letting their teammates spawn near near them. And taking them out. The only downside to this is the necessary the necessity to keep moving when you have the sniper. When using this tip, mm. they will eventually find you. Yeah. Okay. Good tip. Yeah, sweet, sweet. So um, King Hoogden writes in. He says he constantly finds himself being double and triple teamed. Well, he's found a way to stop this. First off, you have to bounce a frag grenade to eye level of your opponents to obstruct their vision. Then stick your own foot with a plasma and immediately launch yourself into a group of attackers. If you do this correctly, you can get a triple or at least a double kill. And this may even work with four attackers, even if they shoot you down, your dead body with a sticky grenade uh, on it will explode and kill some of your opponents. <laughs> Sounds kind of yeah, cool, that's not but... A, ooh, that's not as easy up, right? as... It's not easy to do stick yourself. I know there's a way to do it, but... um, <laughs> You have to throw, throw it up in like... Just like jump and catch it with your face. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but then you gotta throw it straight up and wait for it to fall right back down, and you know, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, it's I just throw it in front of me, and somebody's attacking me. I just throw one down. If I know I'm gonna die, I just throw it down and hope it kills them too. Yeah, really. I try to bounce it off a wall or something, or a doorway above yeah. you or something like that. I call, I call it my plasma poop <laughs> technique. <laughs> <laughs> the parting gift. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Slayer of Kings says, um, if you pick up the snipe, you can jump in the she? Is that even a word? Yeah, dude, I thought this was funny oh because God. I have no idea what the heck he's talking about, so I thought we would include it. Oh my God. <laughs> if you pick up the snipe, you can jump in the she and go up to the prong thingies just across from where the she is. Banshee. I guess that's what he's trying oh. to say. Oh, oh, dude! You know, it's Halo slang, baby. Oh, you can't use terminology we don't know. <laughs> yeah, like I call I mean, the sniper, I just call it the purr. 
<laughs> I call it the R. It has the last letter. Yeah, in you it. guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I got the purr. <laughs> got the purr. I'm going to the su, also known as the base. Oh, you got the purr. Well, I got the burr, so I think we're pretty good. <laughs> The fur, the burr, the the W on over here. Sweet. <laughs> and the tall. <laughs> oh my gosh, they got the rur. Oh, got the... What's the rur? That's the wraith. Oh, how did I not figure that one out? I got the chur. <laughs> That's the rocket launcher. <laughs> Man, this conversation is getting confusing. <laughs> oh, okay. So apparently, let's, let's break this one down. If you, if you pick up the snipe, you can jump on, in the banshee. But he, you lose me when you say the two prong thingies. What okay? is the two prong thingy? I don't thingy? know if prong thingies is terminology for something. I'm assuming uh, at the very top, like the very very top of the map where uh, the small tower is at. Uh, you know, some people take a banshee all the way up top. I'm assuming he's dumb. He's, I'm assuming he's dumb. Next tip. <laughs> Next tip. Ah. <laughs> Next tip. I'm assuming he's dumb. Roman Craig says, "Quick tip. Quick tip." To get the Banshee out of play for a little while. Super nice if you hate the Banshee whores as much as I do. I hate Overload Banshee a plasma whores. pistol and fire it directly at one of the boosters at the end of the Banshee's wings. It will immediately blow it up. Hmm. I gotta try that one. That's pretty cool. I'll have to try that one too. Be a lie. Liar. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, let's move on into Ooh. the map of the week for this week, which is Headlong, of course. And. MOTW. Yeah. Central map of the week, and this is this first part is seems to be usually where I start out and say a bunch of stuff that I wrote down that I use on headlong. <laughs> so bear me, bear with me while I go through a whole bunch of tactics here. Okie dokie. Um, this map has some jargon. First of all, that you need to know if you play matchmaking. If you know all this, bear with me. But uh, first of all, in general, there is the um, the thing where people call out. And this happens a lot of times with. Um, with maps, is that people will say, for instance, um, the uh, sniper is at the uh, rocket launcher spawn, or something like that. They'll call out locations, and the locations will be the, the spawns of different power-ups or weapons. So that's a good thing to know is when people are saying, um, like sometimes people will just say uh, rocket launcher spawn, which will basically say there's some action going on over there. So that's something to keep in mind for pretty much any map. Um, getting to some headlong specific jargon, uh, the first is there are different ways into the base for objective base games. Uh, and the first of those is the teleporter way. This is the most common way. When you uh, spawn on offense, you just walk right up the ramp, turn right around the outside wall there, and go through the teleporter. This will take you into the building, and um, from there you can go two different ways. One is across the bridge, which there are actually two bridges, but this is like the main bridge, um, which lets you walk through that. Once you get the, through the teleporter, you go through that building and then hang a right, and then there's a bridge there which you'll have to go across eventually. Um, this lets you pick up the sword and the plasma pistol on the way, or drop down. You can also drop down and go from the back or the bottom of the base. The back bottom of the base, yeah. Which is faster, it turns out. And this involves jumping on a crate and then jumping in through the bottom window of the base. Uh, the stairs are not recommended inside the defending base because you get ambushed easily from above or below. And definitely never take the flagger bomb in the stairs, it's too easy for them to defend. So the next location that's part of the jargon here is the alien sniper way. And what the way this works is that you can turn right right when you uh, get out of your offense base instead of left through the teleporter. And when you turn right there it leads you across a kind of an unfinished bridge area and up to another bridge at the top level of the base. And you can pick up the alien sniper right there too. So that's known as alien sniper way. Andy. And there is the cross beam, which is where you can jump into the unfinished ramp uh, right when you come out of your offense base. And then up onto the hanging section of highway and then onto that big um, metal cross beam which will take you right to the rockets and then into their base. So, in the last and final way, um, well, there's there might be a couple other variations on this, but the last and final main way is the right through the middle, of course, which is where you ignore the transporter, jump over to the um, ramp of the highway, and then just jump out of that and go right in, th in through the front door and start spiraling your way up to the plant spot or flag area. 
Um, generally it's not as good as the rest because of speed considerations and vulnerability going up the ramp and running down the middle. So, um, I'll cover one or two of my general tactics because I don't want this to take too long, but um, whatever you're, whatever you're going to do, decide quickly as soon as you spawn. I'm talking about offense here. And try to get the entire team to join you, and I mean everyone. It's really hard to defend on headlong when you have a freight train of eight people going one way. And like anything else, make a rush for the power weapons. On offense, you can throw a grenade at rocket spawn when you get outside of the base to get rockets away from them and down to you, which gives you a big advantage. Uh, you can also take the jeep around the back of the base, picking up rockets on the way if you want. And this lets the flag grabber throw the flag out the side window uh, to the guy in the passenger seat waiting at the bottom, or even a guy that's surfing on top of the jeep who's like standing on top. And then, and then, if that's the case, that I love surfing. It's pretty cool seeing videos on that. If that's the case, the driver can just like drive straight ahead. The guy surfing on top of the jeep gets just pushed into that building right there, and then he gets a free walk to the rest of the way. Um, one one of the <laughs> biggest uh, pet peeves I have in this map is when people were playing CTF, capture the flag. Uh, we're on defense and someone breaks the glass. Don't break the glass on defense on CTF in the defensive base right at the flag plant uh, spot. The reason is, is because if they get the the flag and they can't really, they, they have a tough time throwing the flag down to the bottom uh, right out there if the glass is still intact. At least a slightly tougher time. So, that's something to keep in mind. And last yeah. thing I'll mention is that um, when I'm on defense, I like to grab the ghost and rush towards active camo in that area, uh, especially if I already know they're going the alien sniper way. I usually have no problem taking that out in the camo room, even if there's like two guys in there with the ghost. And if I can't, I make them have to go back up another way, which wrecks their time. Also, I can uh, right after I kill them there, I can just go around and grab a human sniper and steal their sniper, which is really cool. Another thing I do on defense is run up the stairs to the top, pick up plasma pistol on the way, and then run across the main bridge and turn it into the noob combo and defend the main bridge. If people take damage, they sometimes hide behind that air vent in that hallway there. Don't run over there, throw grenades, because they might have a shotgun or a sword. That's happened to me a few times. So I run over there to finish them off and shotgun. So, okay, that's my long rant. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. I enjoyed it, but that's just me. Yeah, a lot of I think useful you... info. All right. Did I mention mine? Go for it. Yeah, go for it. A good tip for headlong involves assault. When on offense, take the bomb straight down the middle on foot. Make sure you have most of your teammates with you, because this will catch the defense off guard while they're busy searching for weapons. Have a few guys cause a small distraction up top through the hanging beam. Once your team is inside, you will have a portion of the team to deal with since everybody else is looking for weapons outside. Also have the sniper take out the guy trying to take the rocket launcher up top and afterwards steal their rocket launcher. This works pretty much like a bit over 50% of the time when we do it right. Have the guy with the bomb hide until everybody's ready and then you know attempt to uh, arm it and if he, even if he doesn't arm it at least you'll have a few guys in there who, once he dies, you can just keep rushing it and arming it little by little. Hmm. Yeah, it works when it's, cool when it's done right. Well, good call, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's really more just don't lose yeah, those no, rockets. We, we, they we've had a few really matches where we, we've done it, yeah. and, and it was a big team battle, and... Obviously, we're playing with people we don't know, so they're like, no, 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 let's go on the Warthog. So as little as three of us have done it, and, and it's worked, and you hear the opposing team saying, how the hell did they arm it so fast? So if they're not expecting it, you know, it works pretty well. <laughs> but you can only do it once. Cool. That's the thing. Yeah. Let's see, uh... <laughs> yeah, I got one from a Dutch listener. We love our our Dutch fans. Uh, his name is Kip <laughs> Nugget. <laughs> Strange name. Uh, but uh, uh, it's a little sniper tip. He says, uh, get a sniper and uh, fly the Banshees to the building next to the ghost spawn place and get on top of it. It's a really good 
sniper spot, and you can see the beam rifle and the other sniper from there. So which one tries to snipe you, you have enough time to kill them before he has a sniper. But it's dangerous if anyone in a tank or raid sees you, because then, boom. So, hmm. yeah, that's actually yeah, a really good yeah, spot. Yeah, that little ledge there. It's pretty nice. Cool, cool. Yeah, there's some good nice, um, nice. there's some good sniper spots that you can fly up to with the banshee that you can't otherwise get to, that are uh, good to keep in mind. There's also that one up by the uh, yeah, where, what is yeah, it, the billboard some... up there? That there's ways to super <laughs> jump up to it apparently, but you know you can also get up there with the banshee. And only thing mm -hmm. is, is you're wide open there. You can't yeah. really <laughs> back up over the top. All right. Well, Marksman 911 has a whole bunch of tips here, so we'll go back and forth between Ooh. paragraphs. So, start out with the first one here. He says, first of all, he absolutely loves this map, which of course is probably why he wrote so much here. Appreciate it. Um, he knows all the best strategies for this map, and the one he's about to tell us is the best. Uh, when you start out on offense, have two to three guys get on the two hogs. Have one of the hogs go to your rocket spawn. Make sure the hog that goes to the rocket spawn has a turret in case of enemy rushing. Have the second hog go across the broken bridge and try to steal the enemy's beam rifle. If the person going after the enemy's beam rifle fails before he dies, uh, he has to make sure he yells it out so the rest of the team will know. Uh, well, whoever gets the rocket and the other warthog, have them grab the overshield. Now for the rest of the group. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Now for ahead. the rest of Somebody the group. Else. <laughs> have three people go on with one guy to grab your own sniper. If the other team is smart, they will rush you in a ghost or two, and the sniper will need to help out. Have the last two guys go on the teleporter to the sword base, while at the sword base have one guy pick up the brute shot and the other pick up the sword. Now have the brute shot guy go to the window on the tunnel that connects both the sword base and the base where, the, where you arm the bomb or take the flight. Have him shoot the brute shot in at enemies maybe killing one or two but he's mostly for the for there for a distraction <laughs> uh well they, the whole brute shot thing i i gotta interject here real fast all right brute shot is really you really need to find a small space for the brute shot if you t try and fire it in too wide of an area you're really gonna be screwed so yeah yeah all right yeah it's a that's a good idea, though. Yeah, um, no, it definitely works out. Use it as a distraction a because you know, obviously, it does have a big trail. It leaves a big explosion, makes some noise, so at least you know brings their attention over in that direction. But yeah. Anyways, he marksman I want continues, and he says, "Have the sword guy jump down off the platform below the window where the sword is, and go to the bottom to the base where the three boxes are. Go in from the bottom and walk up the ramps to grab the flag." Now back to the sniper and his buddies, if they're successful, then uh, they have the sniper get placed on the end of the broken bridge in the corner against the wall. So you need to have the other two guys go in the yeah. past, the beam rifle spawns, and go into the base from the top. So, cool. And uh, he says, after you get to that, one marks now me. have one of three guys inside the base grab the flag, throw it down to the bottom of the enemy's base, and have the guys still inside the base jump down Stop and try to get it outside in the opening. From the base and start running across the big open middle part of the level, you know, the guy that died throwing the flag down. Have him get on your turret at the bottom of the of your base and shoot whoever attacks the flag carrier. <laughs> the rest is up to the sniping and determination of your team to keep the flag <laughs> towards your base by throwing it. Pretty cool. Woo. A lot. <laughs> Lots of stuff, but you know, some some helpful things there. Um Right on, dude. Marksman's nice. good too. Yeah. So Salminator writes in, speaking of Guys that are good. If you want to get the beam rifle with your offense, um, get two people to go on the goss hog, hit the bridge jump. <laughs> he says this is usually where you scream or say weird things like giggity giggity. Giggity giggity. <laughs> get the uh, turret to camp and then position the goss hog on the bridge. And when you capture the flag, you have a strong defense when everybody is out on the death field, as we call it. You can just pick them off one by one. Sounds pretty cool, actually. You got the Goss turret, you got the regular turret. As soon as they get out there, it's covered. Gemini Ace says, My first tip for this map is, do not rush with both Warthogs as soon as the game starts. 
will end up with no vehicles and on foot. Send one full Warthog to rush the base, have the other one grab the rockets and wait until they have confirmation that the flag has been taken. The guys in the first hog head in and get the flag. Whoever gets the flag calls for the other guys to jump out of the nearest window. By then the other Warthog should be to, be to him, have the guy with the rockets go out and let him, and let him in. Rocket guy covers while the flag is taken and the Warthog back to the base. On defense, go grab the rockets and brute shot and camp at the flag score spot. Also, everyone brings the ghost up there for defense as well. Defense is much easier than offense in this map, in my opinion. Also, King of the Hill games are awesome on this map. I love Phantom King games with all the vehicles turned on. It's frantic. It gets frantic fast. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I guess I'm up here. Uh, we got one from Quality Jeverage writing in, and he says there's a good sniper spot on this map, and if you control it, you can rack up quite a respectable score. Take the Banshee and fly to the hanging platform, the one above the lower turret, and now fly straight up from there. You should be at a large flat rooftop you can land on. Obviously, it would be a good thing to have the sniper rifle at this point. Uh, from this spot, you have a good view of almost the entire level, apart from the indoor areas, of course. Also, there's plenty of space to move around up here. So even if someone knows you're there, you've got such a large area to snipe from that you can just poke your head out in random places, let them try to hit you, and use your, their sniper trails to find their positions. Also, while you're up there, and if you're feeling rather insidious, get in and out of your Banshee once in a while, and this should prevent it from respawning so no one can come up and get you. Good call. That's a good one. We were talking about those earlier, and that's another one that uh, sounds like it's even better. Maybe than some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, sunburned halo. Uh, yeah, he said. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, hold on, before we go into it, uh, Fumo had awesome. a little tip here. Um, want some futuristic aloe vera? What what's up with this? You, you're gonna have to explain to me why <laughs> you said this, Fumo. Sunburned halo, dude. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> you're funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sun Marhello, do would, would you like some futures to Galavera? Mm, yeah, would you? Mm, mm, yeah, you, you gotta wear some yeah. SPF. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Halo next time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that anyway. was lame. Go ahead. <laughs> hey guys, my tip is when you get to the get the Warthog at its spawn point, drive on the road towards the large broken bridge. Then you'll see a little bridge that leads to the brute spot, brute shot spawn building. Drive through the narrow bridge as fast as you can. If you clear the little blocker, you'll be able to drive right into the enemy base. But watch your driving on the sharp turns. And when you're done with that, you can you all send you the the. And when you're done with that, you can drive into the base to kick some ass. Oh, oh and uh, spell check. Can you uh, send me a friend request? And no, send me a friend request. Okay, I'm I'm busy. <laughs> Dang. And I, Hey. Up yeah. next. <laughs> I'm Bizzle. <laughs> All right. Next. I'll take this one. Gav Time says, when Headlock comes up on TTF or Assault, my first thought is always on defense. This map is hard to score on, so the key is to make sure that you have a solid defense and hope that things go well on offense. A good place of ha for having the rockets on defense is on the second floor where you can hide in the corner next to the st stairwell. On offense, I basically rush in a warthog and try to catch them off guard when they go for weapons. When they go for weapons, but this only works against disorganized teams. Sure. Otherwise, I tend to go camouflage to the camouflage side. About 85 to 90 percent of the time. Whoops, I said that wrong. Can I say that again? Go for it. On offense, I basically rush in a warthog and try to catch them off sure. guard when they go for weapons. But this only works against disorganized teams. Otherwise, I tend to go camp to the camouflage side as about 85 to 90 percent of P 
people go through the teleport or down the middle. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, inverse logic, the picture boy. I don't know what the picture boy means, but uh, that's what he said. He writes in with a tip about headlong. If you're playing a flag or a bomb game and you're defending, grab the banshee and boost up to the top catwalk of the base. When there, grab the rocket up there and then boost up to the top of the base. Here you have a good view of the flag bomb area and it's out of sight from snipers. It's also inaccessible so you won't have to worry about melee attacks. Note that you will need to conserve your rockets to be up there for a long amount of time. That's actually, um, I've seen that used a lot and it's definitely cool because, you know, you can't get assaulted when you have rockets up there unless somebody snipes you out from the top. And uh, it really gets you a good view of the flag grab area so you can just smash anybody that uh, goes for it or the assault area, whichever it is. Whichever it is. See, uh, Ponoroth, or however you pronounce that, says, uh, in uh, CTF and Assault games, Headlong could be a very linear map, whereas in Slayer, it's very open. There's some useful locations this map they're all good about. A sniper can be, be absolutely dominant on this map, but he has to be sure to keep moving, because I've noticed that people tend to wise up to snipers on this map very quickly. So we get sniper spots at the, the portal area exit, after the camel spawn, Bridge type thing of the dip in the road to the left side of the base. That's usually the uh, offensive side, the thing that'd be the blue side, and the top floor of red base. And also, he's found that the flooding the portal, as it's uh, called, uh, is a useful tactic in assault game types, but it's only if the other team isn't expecting it. Flooding the portals uh, is when uh, the visitor team sends most of the members th through the portal, which allows them to plant the bomb between the in behind the enemy base to defend them from being humiliated by the other team using the strategy. Have one person on watch looking to see if the other team is, in fact, sending the majority of their team through, through the portal. And have him warn the rest of the team. He's also found that the strategy where you send the whole team, but the whole bomber works really well on this map. Why? He's not sure. But if you're feeling, if you're getting the feeling this strategy might work, go for it. Especially on this map since it does seem to work quite often. Yeah, for hey. real. It's good to have a recon guy, too, to find out which way they're going and just be able to tell the rest of your team. Yeah. Yeah, some people like to block the, uh, on defense, they like to block the teleport so the offense can't go through with the sniper. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just don't get telefragged. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. I can't do that. Raging Fire 101 says, on assault, get one, gr get one guy to grab the bomb and one guy to grab the sniper. Everyone else goes through the teleporter. The sniper and the bomb follow close behind. When you get outside the other end, have one gra guy grab the sword and one get the brute shot. One get the dual wield SMG, needler, etc. Use all the stuff that's in there. Then send some people with SMGs, the sniper, and the brute shot guy in, in groups of two or three. Make sure the sword guy stays with the bomb carry at all times. Hopefully, all the guys that go in the first in first clear out the base. And if you've done it right, you can score easily within the first minute and a half to two minutes. Bomb armed, bomb planted, round over. Yay. Sweet. Yeah, that works. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Takes a lot of organization though. Yeah, that's the thing. On this map, there's there's really a lot of, both on defense and offense, everybody's got to try to stick together at some point or at least have some kind of coordination of what they're doing because if everybody runs around on their own in this map, it's not going to yeah, go really well you for your team. Yeah, you can lose really fast. Everybody's just running around trying to get kills and not listening. Yeah. Which hopefully we don't have to yeah. worry about anymore. It's six on six. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you how many times, though, it's like you start off and you say, okay, everybody go through teleporter, and, like, three people go through teleporter, and you're like, come on, man. If we would have gone through here, we would have freaking, oh. What are you anyway. doing? Definitely. Couscous so, Rice, and he says one of the best ways to score easily when playing CTF is at the beginning, go and grab the shotgun, run through the portal, grab the brute shot at the top, and then jump down so that you're jumping up on the boxes from the bottom of the base. 
uh, bring the shotgun out just in case there's anybody there, and then run up the ramp, uh, turn around and shoot the glass with the brute shot to break that out. And then, of course, reload, because there's going to be someone there as soon as you get up there. Kill them. Uh, hopefully, you, you can kill them. All right. Then grab the flag and jump to the upper ramp. Right. If there's Rambo someone tactic. there, jump to the bottom of the base. And if not, run to the top ring of the base just on the crossbar and run and jump to the part of the bridge that's hanging and then jump to your base and score. If you rush yeah. and time it right, it will work and you'll only meet one person because the other team is looking for weapons. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds like I think it work pretty good. Coach Star says, for this map on Big Team Battle, uh, or, you know, the big teamed games. Not necessarily a big team battle, but, you know, you, you know, you know, you know. Whatever it is, six on six, whatever. On CTF offense, try and get everyone to rush the front entrance on foot. It works really well because the other team is getting weapons, and people still in the base can't handle the firepower of eight SMGs. And you'll get out, get it out easily and score. So, hmm. I'd imagine it worked good. <laughs> JR98664 says, My tip, which is only for Covenant CTF or Assault, is to immediately rush for the Wraith. Don't do it alone, though. If you are on defense, have both ghosts go for it. One ghost will go directly for the Wraith, and the other will go for the Rockets. If the person getting in the Wraith gets attacked by the opposing team, the second ghost will defend the Wraith for a second, then go for the Rockets. If you are on offense, have one person drive himself to the yes, Spectre, right if that's pronounced right, I never got that right, to the Wraith. Load up the other Spectre and follow the lone Spectre picking up rockets on the way. Not only will you have the Wraith, but you will have rockets as mm -hmm. well. Hey, hey, hey. Sounds like... Yeah, and if you have... I'm assuming that's, I'm assuming that's both rockets. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, but if you, have the, it's, if you have the power vehicles, you have the rockets, you have sniper. It's kind of like... Forget about it. Yeah, really. Not much defense yeah. against that. Takes a lot to lose that game. Yep, yep. Well, let's see here. Crazy Eminem writes in. He says his offense strategy for headlong is this. When the game starts, send one guy for the rockets and tell everyone else on your team to wait at your base. Hmm, good luck. <laughs> when the rocket guy returns, everyone goes through the teleporter, one guy grabs the brute shot, and one guy grabs the sword. Then you all go out the window onto the ledge and walk until you come to the first window you can see out of. From there, you can see the small window into the other team's base. Just beside that is where he finds the rocket guy for the other team hides most often. Now get everyone in your team to, spawn, to spam grenades into the base there, and then send three people in to finish them off. Sometimes people will be around the corner on the lower floor, so while one of your team grabs the flag or plants the bomb, have, have everyone else watch that quarter. And sometimes on your side has someone on your side has probably died by now. So get them to get a warthog or specter and park it outside the front of the base, ready for the flag. Good idea. Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's idea. a that's a good tip, especially because uh, mostly everybody who grabs the rocket launcher on defense always hides in that little corner right next to the window. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised more people don't just, you know, spam grenades in there and get rid of them. Exactly, especially sticky because they stop as soon as they hit the ground. Yeah. Because yeah, there's been plenty of times I ran in, thought I was in the clear, and he's just sitting there in the corner, crouched down, and I got a face full of rockets. Yeah, For pretty real. much. I usually sit there myself and just dual wield a plasma and SMG or something. Yeah. Let's see. All we right, got right. one here from uh, Rex1990. <clears throat> he says he's found it very useful to get the ghosts into the base when you're on defense in CTF or assault light games. You can do this by using the air brake, A and back, to fly over the pillar type things on the ramp, unusually blocking your way. But with the air brake, which makes you do a wheelie, you'll pass over it with no problems. Once up there, you, you want to go into the flag room or the flag with the air ducts. Keep the evil, evil bad guys out of your ways and. Keep your flag safe. <laughs> I'll have to try that. Hmm. Cool. Three. G. Lewis says, What up, boys? Shouts to Fumo for helping me out this week. Thanks, dude. <laughs> anyway, on to Headlong. 
Headlong is usually only played on big team battle, multi-team, or major clan matches. This should have a high number of teammates. Use them to your advantage. On objective games, use the high number of, of teammates to your liking on both offense and defense. The reason why most object most object object games are harder on this map is because teams do not have a coordinate coordinate plan of attack. Why not with an effective offensive strategy you could easily win the round within the first two minutes. For offense it is very effective if you send everyone on your team in one direction or rush should you overpower the defensive team. As it should be spread out through the base, another effective strategy is to split your team into two relatives, relatively same number of groups and have them storm the base on different sides. Sometimes this will help as defenders will get shot from two different directions, confusing them onto which way they should fire. On defense, spread your defense, making a, relatively, a relative perimeter, but do not make it far from the base. If you spread it in, if you spread it too thin, the offense can easily take over, killing each person one by one. So spread your defenders out, but keep them relatively close to one another. One useful tactic is to have one of your defenders rush, rush up and help. Rush up the left side of the map, grab the invisibility, and pressure the sniper. If the tactic is done right, the player can take the sniper and bring it back to the defensive base. The most powerful weapon on this map has to be the, the battle rifle. Since there are a few of them, try your hardest to obtain one. The battle rifles are more effective than snipers because it can both easily take out any pursuing enemies at close range, mid-range, and disrupt, disrupt snipers from long range. Also, since headlong can switch from an open battle, open battlefield to a close-up duke it out very quickly, the battle rifle is idle. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think he he meant to say something else. He wrote idle, but okay, that's pretty weird. <laughs> I think he means it's important. <laughs> yeah. All right, on to the next paragraph. Mm -hmm. On Slayer, if you get both rockets, the vehicles. Can be very effective most enemies will focus on on you while other players run around and take them out okay the best combo for headlong is battle rifle or combat or carbine with anything the noob combo works in close range fights while the battle rifle sniper combo is great for anything else good stuff good stuff good, brings good us good to the end drops of the map of the week here. <laughs> um, by the way, um, last week we had a tip submitted for Battlefield 2, which was we thought was really <laughs> weird and kind of strange, but so we thought we'd start talking about the unrelated tip of the week. And our first unrelated tip of the week is for Barbie Horse Adventure. <laughs> Woo! I love that game! <laughs> so... Yeah, I pwned in that game. Forget Dude, I play about that game it. All the time, man. Game rocks. <laughs> <laughs> play multiplayer online. Get some matchmaking going on. It's pretty sweet. Forget about it. My horse rules. Dude, I got my horse so tricked out, man. The thing is pimping. Oh yeah. Well, I got hydraulics and uh. Wait, are we talking about Barbie or Need for Speed? <laughs> Dude, there's the Barbie Need for Speed Underground game. Barbie Underground. I love that game. I love Barbie Underground. <laughs> <laughs> Underground horses. So the the tip of the week, my I'm tip the of the horse. week, the the um a really good tactic in Barbie horse adventure, is if you want to get a turbo boost with your horse, kick the horse in the nuts. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that wouldn't make me go faster. I'd probably slow down if that happened to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> If you want to make a spell check go slower, <laughs> kick him in the nuts. Ooh. <laughs> I recommend sweet you don't cheeks, do that, though. Um, <laughs> yeah. He'll sound like one of those 10 year olds. Oh! JV8! Hey, I'm the real spell check! <laughs> hey, JVP! 
JVA. JVA, what's happening? <laughs> JVA, why'd you kick me in the nuts? <laughs> why'd you do that? That's so mean. I want to be your friend. <laughs> Yeah, he makes me, you know, he made me sound feel like I was Michael Jackson Ow. or something. <laughs> Having all these little kids calling my name. I love you, Michael. <laughs> I love you, Michael. <laughs> Michael loves you too. We were, we were eating milk and cookies. Well, that's our uh, show this week, guys. Pod Tiger Tips. Hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we got some more stuff coming up with lots of great submitted custom games. We got our voicemails, our segments. And a couple other surprises along the way, so don't miss that. Coming up next, not next week, but next uh, episode, a couple days. Yeah. Word. Word to the mommies. Word up, yo. So that's the show. See you guys later. Keep on trucking. <laughs> yeah. Bye, folks. Keep on fragging. There's only one thing left to say. Da 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 da